Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here. Today we're starting our look through the book of Philippians. And this is one of my personal favorite epistles. Um, I read it quite frequently, so I'm really excited to be going through this. And I hope that you will choose to read this book um, as we go through and study it. Um, it's very short, just like Colossians. It's only four chapters. So I would encourage you guys to read it multiple times, whether that's once a week as we go through this or however God leads you to. Um, but it's really short. I'm a very slow reader and it only takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to read through the entire book, so not very long. So I encourage you guys to read through it multiple times and see how God changes your life as you do. But today we are looking at the first two verses, and this is the introduction of the book. And I think sometimes we think, well, the introduction or this verse or, or passage is not as important or significant, so we're just going to skip over that. But we need to remember that all scripture is breathed out by God and is profitable for teaching. And so we want to have that in mind as we read these verses and all of scripture. So let's read it and then we'll dive in. It says, Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi with the overseers and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. See, there's actually a, a, a lot in those couple of verses that we could unpack. An example would be the, the phrase servants of Jesus Christ. Paul and Timothy both are claiming their identity and being servants of Jesus, which helped them be able to do all the ministry they could do and, and live how they did. And, and it's important for us as well. And there's others we could talk about. But what I want to focus on today is the last verse that says grace to you and peace from God our Father and Lord Jesus Christ. See, this idea of grace is completely foreign outside of the church and Christianity. There's no other religion that talks about grace. It's all work-based, and you have to earn your way and, and pay penance for all of the, your sins and mistakes and failures, um, and it's exhausting. There is no grace. You have to work and be perfect, which is impossible. And, and in the world, there's no such thing as grace. People don't want to extend grace. They want vengeance. And so grace is only through God. See, we could never pay the price for all of our sins. That's why we need Jesus so much. He came to earth and on the cross, he took the weight and punishment for all of our sin and failures. And when we choose to surrender to him and have a relationship with him, we are completely forgiven of every sin not just in the past, but in the future. All of our sins are wiped clean and we are lavished in God's grace. So when he looks at us, he doesn't see our sin and failure. He sees Jesus's righteousness that is given to us when we have a relationship with him. This grace is never ending. There's nothing that we could do to ever mess it up or, or God take it away from us. It is this beautiful gift, this free gift of grace. And it is so unique to following Jesus. And when we can accept that grace for ourselves personally, for everything that we feel shame and guilt for, there is a freedom and there's a peace that comes like no other. See, so many people are trying to pursue peace in their life, but true peace only comes from Jesus. You can't get it from some sort of Eastern meditation. You can't get it from ultra self-care. You can't get it from being minimalist or any other way you're trying to pursue it. Peace only comes from Jesus. But see, it comes from having a relationship with Jesus and following what he says. Because you can have a relationship with Jesus and ignore what he says and try and do life on your own, but you're not gonna have peace inside. Or you can have a relationship with Jesus and be an active rebellious sin against Jesus and that's not gonna bring peace either. Having true peace <clears throat> is having a relationship with Jesus and following him every day. I know that for me, that fills me with peace, and I hope it does for you as well. Have a great day.